Hey everybody, Chris here. I have a 10 minute core class for you. We're gonna cover all the bases of our core exercises to do here on their slide board. So I want you to think poo poo platter of our core exercises, charcuterie board or charcuterie board of exercises here to get you set up for success as you head into some of our other classes. So I've got my booties on already. Hit pause if you need to. If not, let's get ready to go. Take a nice big deep breath in, reach his hands up all the way overhead. Exhale, let it all go. Let's do one more just like that. From here, I just want you to clasp your hands together behind your back. Let the chest open up. Go ahead and stick those ribs on out. Let's reverse this. Take the hands to the front. Round it through. Let's take it to the back again. Quick little warm up here just to wake our body up. Hands front and round through. All right, friends, we're gonna come on down to our board. We're gonna be make, going up back and forth between our hands and our forearms, hitting up some of these core exercises. So without further ado, let's head into our high plank first. So you can put your hands on the bumper or on the floor. It's whatever's gonna feel most comfortable for you. You're gonna actively press that floor away, extend those legs out, pull my ribs back. I've got a little separation here in my shoulder blades as I'm pressing the floor away. My knees are nice and soft, and I'm just holding this plank. Pressing my hands into the floor, I want you looking about six to eight inches away from your hands to make sure that head isn't dipping down. We do not want to turn into a turtle. Three, two, one, go ahead and drop those knees down. We're gonna do the same thing on our forearms. I just want to start to engage our core, wake it up, activate it a little bit as we head into some of these other movement patterns. So forearms, same thing, extend those legs out. We're gonna hold here. You can make fists, you can go palms up, you can go palms down, modification to drop those knees down, still actively, press, actively pressing the floor away. Your elbows wanna be directly underneath your shoulders, just like your hands were. So whatever point of contact you have on the ground, that's what's pressing into the floor right underneath those shoulders, rest. Friends, coming up to your high plank position again. We're doing what is called a beast. High plank position, both knees are gonna come in just to all fours. Right here, extend those legs on out. Bring it in and then exhale, go ahead and extend it out. Again, keeping those knees soft, pressing your hands into the board. We're here for 10 more seconds, taking it nice and easy. Breathing in, exhale, extend those legs out last time, drop the knees, hang out here for just a moment. Next exercise is our pike. Our booty is gonna go nice and high in the air. Hands, bumper, or floor, again, whatever's most comfortable. Start in that plank position, draw the toes into the board, Shoulders are gonna stay over the wrist the whole time, crown of my head facing the floor, and then you're gonna slide those toes out as slowly and controlled as possible. Let's take it back up again. You're using those low abs to draw those legs in and then extend it out for three, two, one. Drop those knees. Next two exercises, give those hands a rest, coming into the forearms. Hip dips, we're making rainbows with our butts. Forearms, drop the hip down to the right, take them up and over to the left, right. You are using all of your side abs, these obliques, that V, take it up and over. We're controlling this, getting down as low as you can. You may be able to touch the floor. If you can, awesome. No need to if you can't. Range of motion is gonna be a little bit different for everybody. Let's rest. We're gonna go plank jack, same thing. Forearms, feet in and out like you're making an upside down snow angel. Let's do it in three, two, and in one. Here we are, forearm plank, feet out and in. I want you to imagine you've got magnets on your inner thighs, and those inner thighs are just zipping together every single time. Again, we wanna keep those hips away from the board, keeping uh, those hips nice and high, right? Pulling those ribs back the whole time. Three, two, one, rest. Back up to our hands. We're gonna finish this section off with the mountain climber. So, high plank position. One knee at a time is gonna draw in in three, two and one, we draw the knee in, draw the other knee in. Now, my energy is going forward. I'm not pushing my feet away. I'm using my core to draw my abs in and in and in and in. This is a little bit of a longer set than we've done already. Nice and slow. If you're feeling good, pick up that tempo. Long neck, head extended out. Keep this going for five, for four, for three, two, one, Take a tiny little rest. On deck is our burpee. I want you to just watch me first. I'm just gonna flip around to use this other camera. You can see my entire body. So high plank position to start. Slide your toes in about the same width of the board. Stand up, reach up overhead, come down, take my hips with me, hands on the board, slide out to that plank, toes in, 
and up. And we just rinse, repeat here. Got a nice little 45 second moment of your burpee and reach it on up. Again, hands come down. What you want to avoid doing is reaching down like this. Notice my low back is rounding. Take your hips with you. It's almost like you're squatting. So you want to think plank, squat, stand, squat. Plank, squat, stand, and squat, right? We've got five more seconds here in three, two, and one. Here's the good news. We're going to do that all again. Grab yourself a quick little sip of water. Starting off with that high plank again, we're just going to make sure we have all these patterns in our bodies. Without further ado, my friends, back down to this board, starting it off with that high plank. Again, pressing away, breathing here, pulling those ribs back, keeping that spine as long and neutral as you possibly can. Head stays out. Don't let it dip down. Again, avoiding your turtle. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Take a breather. We're going back down to those forearms. Palms up, palms down, fists, whatever feels good for you. You choose. Three, two, and then one. We're right here. Again, if you need that modification, drop those knees down. All good. You meet your body where it's at. If this is your first time on the slide board, it is absolutely okay for you to be completely terrified. First time I got on it, I was like, you want me to do what? But here I am now telling you what to do. <laughs> So you're just hanging out here for a few more seconds. Three, two, one, drop them. Coming back into that beast, right? That's that all fours coming into that all fours position in your high plank. In three, two, and one, high plank. Both knees come in, extend both legs out. Both knees come in, extend those legs on out. Right here, I'm taking it nice and slow. A lot of our ab work, slow and steady, is actually more challenging, and you're going to get better results as opposed to just pounding this out. In three, two, one, rest, friends. We got that pike again. So booty's going up in the air. Show it off. Here we go. In four, three, two, and then one. Draw those toes in, and then we extend those legs all the way back out. I want you to imagine there's two strings attached to your hips. Someone's pulling them up like your Pinocchio, and then it pulls them right back down. But you control those feet on the way out, right? Nice and slow and steady. We're not letting that slide board because it's slippery win. Three, two, and in one. Drop those knees back to our hip dips. We get to make those rainbows or upside down smiley faces. Notice I did not say sad faces. Three, two, and in one. Here we are. Drop that hip. Use those side abs up and over, up and over. Good. Taking it one at a time, nice and slow again making those little arches, those half circles, rainbows, upside down, smiley faces, or upside down, sad faces, whatever makes sense to you. In three, two, and in one, gang. All right, coming back to your plank jack. Out and in with the feet, out and in with the feet. Tempo, whatever works for you. In three, two, and in one. Here we are, plank, out and in. Out and in, out and in. Again, if you wanna pick up that tempo, you're right here. You're using those inner thigh muscles to zip those legs together. You're using your core to keep those hips away from the floor. Keep it going, friends. You've got five more seconds here. In four, in three, in two, one, and drop those knees, team. We've got another set of mountain climbers, one more set of burpees. Your burpees are going to be a little bit longer to finish this off right. All right, friends, without further ado, let's climb that mountain. Here we go. Drive those knees in, 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 in. Option, if you're feeling comfortable here, is to take opposite knee towards opposite elbow. Cross body mountain climbers, you got 15 more seconds. Whatever option you're taking, upper body and shoulders aren't going anywhere. You are pressing into that floor. Upper body so, 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 so stable. We're just working basically from like ribs down. Keep this going for five, four, three, two, one. Drop those knees. Get ready to crush this last set of burpees. One minute here. We're going, friends. In four, Three, two, and in one. Draw it in, reach it up. Hands down and out. Draw it in, reach it up, down and out. I'm going to throw a couple options your way for you if you're feeling good. Throw a pike into the bottom, right? Zip it up, extend it out, then I pull my legs in. You could also throw a push-up into the bottom if you wanted to. Push up, right there, on up. You could throw a couple mountain climbers in the bottom. 
These burpees can be whatever feels best for you. On up, you could bring in the knees for your beast, right? Knees, extend, out, and up. You got 15 more seconds here. You could also go out and in right there, or you just keep it classic burpee, whatever your body needs today. Let's go one more. All right, friends, that is it for your 10-minute core class. I hope you're feeling more comfortable here on this slide board. My name is Chris. I will see you next time you are feeling bored at home. Have a good one.